Hello and welcome to my channel. We're going to get my 2021 Road Glide Limited ready for the 2024 riding season. We got a lot to accomplish today. We got to do a three hole oil change as well as clean up the bike, make it look spiffy for the 2024 riding season. I haven't washed it. I've just touched it up uh, since I purchased it in July. But we're going to make this thing uh, showroom ready for this 2024 riding season this year. I got a lot of rides planned and I have a lot of road grime on my bike right now that I need to get off from uh, the 2023 riding season. So let's get it. First off, we're going to go on a little quick ride to warm up the, the engine oil as well as the transmission in the primary, get up the running temp and then come back, let it cool down for a few minutes so I don't burn myself on the exhaust. I do all of my all of my maintenance on my vehicles as well as my motorcycle. It's just uh, more economic friendly for me as well as I've been doing it for geez 20 years now. It's probably a one to two beer job depending on how uh, much technique you have and maintenance on your vehicle. Uh, I've been changing uh, oil on motorcycles for about eight years uh, with my sports bike and with my previous Harley Davidson. Now I'm going to change my first oil change on this limited that I purchased uh, last July. Make sure you pound that like button and subscribe for more riding videos. And we're off on this uh, ride to warm up the motorcycle, get all the fluids up to temperature. I'm just lip syncing some some songs that's playing through my my stereo. Some good music on this fine spring day. But we're just gonna enjoy this ride. So enjoy the uh, the scenery of the area. Okay, we're back from warming up the bike. As you can hear, it's pretty hot. So I gotta let it cool down for a few minutes so I can get around the, the plug so I can pull out the, the oil. So I'm gonna let this cool down. Got my little tinker out here just wandering around. But anyways, back to the bike. It's cooled down for about five minutes. Uh, but first we had to get some tools ready. Actually, we got them right here. We've got a half inch Allen, and we got a T27, and we got a 3 8 Allen, and a 5 8 socket. Usually I don't have any problems. Uh, we'll see how it goes first time on this bike. But first we do have a uh, tasty beverage to indulge in. Like I said, it's a one beer job. I picked up this. Uh, Let's try a little happiness. Let's see how this tastes. Uh, it's made by Pipeworks in Chicago. 
So we're gonna crack open this beer. See how this beer tastes. I like to pour my beers a little hard just to get rid of some of that carbonation. Makes you less uh, gassy. <laughs> it's uh, try a little happiness with a little uh, <laughs> rooster on there, chicken. Uh, let's see how this tastes. <sighs> Gotta say, it tastes pretty damn good. It's a little uh, crisp, not too hoppy. I like hoppy beers. I brew my own beers. Well, here we are on the ground. <laughs> of course, we got to get down here to some plugs. I'm going to get my uh, bike uh, standing uh, vertical. It's on the jiffy stand right now. I just got to get it vertical so the oil uh, has uh, easy to flow through the bike. We just got some plugs to remove. We got to remove the oil, transmission, and then we have the primary uh, right here. We're down here. We're gonna take off. So this is gonna be your oil. Oil. Hopefully it's the first time changing this. Hope there's no surprises in there. Looks pretty good. Our transmission. Then we'll do the primary next. Sorry if you guys hear TV, it's the uh, my garage TV. Primary our transmission looks good. I don't know, I've always did the rule of thumb every season to change all three holes. Okay. Can't forget to change those uh, O-rings on your drain plugs. Okay, we got the uh, transmission drained and the engine oil drained. Now we gotta head on to the primary and then we gotta pull the oil filter. Sorry about that guys. Not a sponsor. <laughs> I don't think so. Got a lot of thread lock on it. We got the derby cover off. We got the primary uh, drained. That's the primary. We just got to add some oil to it here shortly. Uh, oil looks pretty good. I didn't see uh, any large amount of specs on the any of the drain plugs. All the drain plugs have magnets. What we got to do is pull the uh, the filter off and then fill all of our our points, and then we're good to go and put on the derby cover. Make sure you uh, tighten down all your uh, drain holes to spec using a torque wrench. One click is all you need. Okay, let's get this off. Little oil, it's gonna run out. There is a little thing you can buy for it, but whatever. I'm gonna wash my bike after this anyways. So it is what it is. 
just tilt it up you don't lose too much oil and there you go easy breezy you want to make sure your seals not there um, from your previous uh, oil filter I'm gonna pull that out we got a little bit of spillage there it ain't nothing big We're at the home stretch we just have to fill up all of our points we're gonna start with the primary and then get that derby cover back on uh, I got a basic fill, uh, funnel. You can go out and purchase the uh, funnel from Harley Davidson or a funnel from Amazon uh, that fits it, but I've always used a regular funnel that fits in that little hole there. And fill it up to spec. Make sure you follow your the tech guide on how much fluid to put in each. We got the primary buttoned up, got it filled, got the derby cover over uh, on it. Okay. We got all the points filled up. We're gonna let it idle for about a minute. Then we're gonna check the uh, engine oil. And don't forget to recycle your engine oil, transmission oil, primary oil, at any spot, any uh, auto shop should take your oil uh, for recycling for free. One more thing I forgot to mention. Uh, if you do your own service, make sure that you reset your service mileage in the information. Plenty of tutorials, I'm not gonna walk you through those steps, but make sure you do that so you can keep track of your mileage as well as keep all your receipts just in case you have issue if you do have an extended warranty or a warranty on your vehicle because doing your own service will not void your warranty.